Hey guys, today I'm going to have a little demonstration video on this uh, 2x4 MOSFET amplifier, the Superior 450. It's got two 2030s, ERF 2030s driving four ERF 9530s. I'll take a quick look inside here. things I've kind of noticed about these uh, MOSFET amps, they're not really, there's not a lot of gain on them, so you got to drive them quite a bit. I think each of the ERF 9530s only have, they have about 10 dB gain, and of course when you run them in parallel here, you're going to need even more drive to get, you, you get about 7 or 8 dB it seems. You see from my other video I have this, uh, the straight 16, and they're all ERF 9530s, and I wasn't really driving it enough to get full power out of it. So today, now I have this uh, 2x4. We're going to drive this guy into the bigger one here and uh, see if we get a little more power out of it. So, without further ado, I'm going into uh, dummy load there. And as far as power goes, I got the Astron 70 here just for him. So this will be dedicated just to power this amplifier only. The radio is running off of this. And then the, uh, the big boy here is running off of the, uh, this Astron on 15 volts. You see, uh, and the two batteries. That's an eight volt and a six volt. So it's sitting at around 15 volts. The Astron's at 15, so. Thing is though, when I run full tilt, it'll peg the 70 amps on the uh, on the Astron 70, so it looks like I'm, um, the voltage drop is, is um, you know, running obviously below 15 and running full. Now, I, I could reduce the, uh, the Astron's power draw off it by lowering the voltage of the Astron down to around 14 volts, which is probably where the, more likely where the batteries are dropping down to. See here, when I run it, I'll show the current. It's pretty crazy. Anyway, okay, so let's run this, uh, this guy here now, high and low. Run just the radio here. Let me turn it off actually, let's see what kind of drive. Don't forget we're going through all this stuff. <laughs> we're going through two amplifiers so you know you're gonna have some loss in here so when you read the meter here just the radio alone it's just under one watt there hello radio okay let me get some that's on high power I actually turned down the radio a lot okay so maybe two to 10. So what's really nice about this driver now, two drive and four, is now really truly a, a low drive amp. So without further ado, let's run it on low here. Run it on the 200 watt scale. Hello, radio. Okay, let's go to the 2000 watt scale. About 100. See here. Yeah, I'd say just under 400. That's on low. We're running on high here. Yeah, a little under 200. And the peak's about the same. So that tells me it's kind of saturated. So I don't really even want to run it on high. I could also turn down the radio, put the radio back on low. Looks like it kind of wants to stop around 400. I can show you the current draw. I'm gonna say about 20 amps. I think it should be higher than that, huh? Oh, I know. It went to sideband. 
And we'd really see it, wouldn't we? Okay, now let's run the uh, the big box. Okay, so now we're gonna run this on low. Radio also on low. There we go. Okay. That did key about I don't know 150. Like that limiter on the radio is kind of bouncing back. I think the radio is uh, kind of bouncing back on me. So it's around 1400, but it's, it pulls back to about 1200. Audio one, two, three. And let me run it on high here. Hello, radio. There we go. That's more like it, isn't it? About 450. Hello, radio. Yeah, a little shy under 1500. Here, check out the current draw. Let's see if I can get it in there. You can see it. About 60 amps. That's not actually too bad. Now I could bury this thing. <laughs> if I run the radio on high. Here, I'll run the radio on high, the amp on low here. Check this out. And about 550. Hello, radio. Okay. And then the last one is to run radio on high and this driver on high, and it puts a big old carrier down. Audio. That's too much carrier. Check this out, it buries it. <laughs> it just buries it. <laughs> if I remember right, this Astron was modified to do 100 amps, if I remember right. So that's probably why you're seeing it just bury the 70, um, the 70 amp scale. I don't think normally they can normally do that. But uh, anyway, that's too much drive for this, uh, this thing. So overall, I say this thing's pretty good. I like it. It takes uh, one thing I had to turn down the radios. This, you know, it's got the two drivers driving the four. So I think if you had an HF radio, you might want to get like the straight four or like a straight eight of these. And uh, this one, 16, is it takes a ton of drive. You can see I'm still, let's say, getting 1500. I got to drive 400 watts just to get the 1500 out of this. So. This what's what what's that about six seven seven dB gain? That's not very good. A lot of a lot of drive just to just to get you know some power out of it. So kind of a low gain low gain amplifier. Or something. Well, tell me what you guys think, man. Interesting stuff, huh? Like and subscribe. Give me some ideas if you want to see any other videos. You guys all take care. Dropping the mall.